another one. Whoa, that's a dog in the boat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Henry. Henry, sit. Oh. <laughs> How much is this camera? <laughs> Henry's gonna knock the boat over. <laughs> Alright, so today we're gonna make dog biscuits. Um, I've never made these before and I've seen some recipes out there and you you know you go to these little stores or a farmers market and people have those little dog biscuits and I thought well maybe we should just try and make them you know be kind of fun and and it ends up you know I looked on the web and there's some pretty simple recipes so I kind of cooked up my own Eric version of it and we'll see what happens all right and um, I'll post the recipe on the greenhouse green-house.tv you can come check it out if you have a recipe um, they will be fun to see yours as well, all right? So we're gonna pal around a little bit here, see if we can get the puppies to come in the canoe and not flip it over on us. <laughs> and we'll go from there, all right? So, here we go. Stay here, stay. This is gonna be the rescue the camera from the water episode. Are you ready? Are you ready for your biscuits? Here we go. So, really simple here. I had some uh, beef broth in the cabinet. So we're gonna use that. Some whole wheat flour, and some baking powder, and some peanut butter. I, you know, I love peanut butter, and the dogs seem to like peanut butter as well. So we're gonna make peanut butter biscuits. Really simple. Uh, preheat the oven, I turned it on to 350. And we'll see what happens, all right? This is based on some stuff I found on the web and what Wendy, my bakery friend, suggested. I, this is going to be a small batch, just as a test. Two cups and of... And if they won't like them. Be, well, that's the thing is there's all these kind of... <laughs> there's these kind of fancy dog biscuits and everything. And dogs will eat just about anything. <laughs> a lot of this stuff is kind of built for the human because it's like, oh, it's Asiago cheese biscuits. And it's like, you know, the dogs don't really care. They're just food, you know? We saw french fry biscuits today. Yeah, they had like little french fries as dog biscuits today. They were cute. It was fine. The lady was... Running a business, that's good, but I mean, we're all about simplicity here, so. We don't even have cookie cutters. No, we don't have any cookie cutters, so we're gonna improvise on that too. So, so I mean, look around you, the kitchen. You could get your little dog cookie cutters if you want. I don't know, about a tablespoon of. Um, that's a heaping something. That's a tablespoon? Okay. I'm gonna start out with a, a half a cup of peanut butter here, and I'm just gonna kind of guesstimate at it. What do you think? That's about a half a cup? <laughs> That's a blob. That's a blob of peanut butter. By the way, Tracy, did you see I used a spatula and not a fork for that? All right, what am I doing? Bring, bring, bring. Okay, some uh, this uh, beef broth. You could use a bouillon cube if you don't have any of this. I'm gonna try a cup of beef broth. It smells good. It smells like beef and peanut butter. Special tool time. Tracy. I'm just gonna get to lift the bowl, because I'll pass. Um, I think it's gonna need more broth. This is just baking, and you don't have to be exact in baking, so. You wanna be able, you wanna get to a consistency that you're gonna be able to roll this out. This might be a little wet, actually. Pretty good. It's rolling out nicely. You want it to be about a quarter inch thick. Oh, this is nice. Okay, so you, you see the consistency the dough has to be. It, it, I, I guess I was trying to make dough like banana bread dough, and that's not gonna work for this. Um, but this rolls out nicely. You know, you could be generous with the flour. You could just add a little more in. It's, you know, it's kind of an experiment. So let's see what happens here. It's all an experiment. Well, my life's a big experiment. <laughs> oh, by the way, people have asked, I do wash my hands after petting the dogs and before making the food, so we have to kind of improvise on making a cookie cutter, so my idea was, uh, it comes right, yeah, this is pepper, so it comes right up. Okay, so 
So you could basically just use a can too. Yeah, you could use a can, a tuna can, or a um, you know even a glass, a drinking glass. A dog food can. A dog food can would work too. I believe you've had dog biscuits by mistake before. Uh. <laughs> so one year, I mean, up in this town, you don't you don't lock your doors in this town, and around Christmas. People just drop off little little packages for you, and the, one of our neighbors, Kimberly, um, who watches the show, on the side porch was this lovely basket with, you know, little Christmassy stuff in it, and a bunch of what I thought were cookies, and I'm eating these cookies, you know, I'm like, boom, 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 boom. and I thought, you know, these, these cookies taste kind of maybe they're organic or macrobiotic <laughs> or something, you know, it's just like these are a little too granola-like. Where's the sugar? And so I called Kimberly. I'm like, Kimberly, are these? Are these cookies or dog biscuits I'm eating? She goes, oh, they're dog biscuits. And I was like, this is great. This is very simple to do. You know, this would also be um, a really good thing to do with kids. I think I think kids would really enjoy this. It's, it's simple to do. You can They can learn about cooking, and they can learn about taking care of their animals and making healthy food for themselves and the animals. Uh, I'm going to guess about... 20 minutes, we'll see what happens. Henry, you can tell us that they're cooked in the middle. Yeah, of you that. can be the drool meter. Oh, neat, look at that. Wow, they're puffy. Yeah. And you're right, they didn't spread out, they just kind of spread up. Yeah. Oh, that's close. Nice, huh? All right, so there you go. Got milk. Yeah, we really, I need milk really <laughs> badly or a cup of coffee. Um, but this is easy. Beef broth, baking powder, whole wheat flour, and something else we put in there. Oh, peanut butter. The peanut butter, you see a little peanut butter here? It tastes peanut butter. It, it tastes like a, tastes like kind of a dog biscuit. So these are good. Right hand, do you like these? That would be a yes. <laughs> All right, so come to the greenhouse. I'll post a recipe on the greenhouse. No, that's enough. Um, but, you know, try this with your kids or your dogs. It's really simple to do. Another family thing that doesn't involve TV. All right, so make it a great day. We'll see you later.